Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going to do review of this GNG GPM92 GP2. So check it. In terms of packing, it can't get much better. This is a really quality box and it's really usable. I like that. Your replica comes something like that. I have been doing unboxing previously. There is Mac, there is replica, there is hop-up setting tool, there is manual, very good manual, I like that. And there is also your BB loader. Unfortunately, this Mac doesn't fit the space prepared for the loader, so. But anyway, really cool box, I like that. Now let's check this GNG GPM92 GP2. It's really, really beautiful replica. It's well made. It's really nicely built. I think that it can't get much better. I have here version with wood grip. Feels great in the hand, like really. It feels great. It sounds great. It operates great. Operation. Here is your safety. Your trigger mechanism is off when the safety is in. You can also put your replica to the safe position with a hammer cocked. So that's a really cool feature. This is double action trigger, so it works also like this. The trigger pull with this uh, mechanism is pretty long, also like this. What I like about the trigger, it's fairly light. When the replica cycles by itself, the travel is really short. Okay, now check it. Reset is short. Yeah, reset and now pull. Yeah, really short. Reset is not that crisp, but you can feel it and then action nice nice short trigger when the gun cycles by itself but look at this replica it looks brilliantly like it's really well made replica i love it can't get much better than this good mac nice replica let's shoot it Now I will try 0.25 gram BBs. I think the 0.28 gram BBs are good, but I think they are a little bit heavy for this gun. All right, guys, now we are going to shoot 0.25 gram BBs. I was able to hit that button easily. You should do that too. When you are shooting rapidly, the GBB replicas tend to freeze. Like the magazine will get cold, also the mechanism of gun will get cold and the gas will not vaporize properly. So then the performance should drop. This replica is equipped with rotational valve, which helps the gas to vaporize. So let's dump it fast to see how it works. Let's try again. Shit, who put so much oil in the gas? Like, I think there is too much oil in the gas, so the BBs were all over the place. As you could see, the gun haven't froze. For the freezing test, I used this Protec uh, gas and there is really, really too much oil in my opinion. For sure, this gas affected the performance during the freeze test because the replica is now covered in silicone oil and I don't like it. Usually I'm running this Elite Force and I can recommend it. There is not that much oil like in the gas used in the freezing test. 
All right, guys, we've been testing this GNG GPM92 GP2. I love it. The build quality and the look of this replica is gorgeous. I love it. I love the materials. I love the feeling in the hand. I love it. I like the double action trigger. I like the short travel of the trigger or when it's cycled by the gun. Accuracy wise, it's pretty okay. It's not top notch, but it's okay because I was able to hit that button easily. And you should do that too. So generally, I like this replica. It looks nice. It feels nice. Build quality is great. Accuracy is okay. And it's a replica of the famous Beretta. So I love it. I love it. You guys, if you have any questions, write a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.